A percentage of Ghanaians have ended up in this town in the central region of Ghana to celebrate one of Ghana's most iconic festivals in Winneba, the Abuachi Festival. Now this is Winneba and this is their festival they celebrate every year on the fifth month which is 1st May. The reason for this festival is simple. Legend says that many months ago, the Efutus were in a bit of pickle. Crops were failing, spirits were low and it seems like Lady Luck has taken a permanent vacation but fear not dear friends for their ancestors were resourceful. They consulted the gods, shook a few bones and lo and behold, a solution emerged, a grand hand for a deer to offer us a sacrifice to appease the powers that be. And with that, the Aboriginal festival was born. Now, this is day two of the Abuachi festival, the second day of the month, and I missed the first day due to traffic since I was coming from the western region of Ghana, which was about a five hours drive. So I was very tired upon arrival, I couldn't do anything but rest. Finding a place to stay here was my biggest fear, cause hotels were all booked, which I'm sharing so you don't make the same mistake next year. I later consulted a very good friend who sponsored my recent trips in Winneba and this as well, and ended up finding a solution for me in his estate heaven in Winneba. I made a video on this place so you can check it out in the link above. The next day in day two, we head to town to see what's happening because there was this particular people carrying this thing on their head and legend says it directs them through a spirit leading them across the town of Winneba and visiting the homes of chiefs in the area followed by a thousand of people. These people could walk more than two hours in the town being led by the spirits that possesses whatever they carry. Watching these people marching through town, I noticed how beautiful Winneba was. Despite their low level buildings, I found this landmark which is over decades sitting in the heart of Winneba's township. And for the locals in Winneba, they call this place the Price Memorial. But for me, I call this place Winneba's Burj Khalifa. There were other beautiful places in Winneba that left me wondering if indeed they knew how magical their community looks from above. I was so curious to know where these people would end up at so I kept following them to know more.
Sister, you will him. Yes, that you are saying what was a person, but I say, you free him. Sister, you are a second, and if you second, and I am a young one. I'm a comrade, 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 I'm a They are taking the cult or should I say their spiritual matters and then they are taking it all the way to the next uh in the next palace so that we see uh what the color what is going to happen there from then. So that is what is happening. So all this crowd that you see right now are all moving to the next town and moving to the next community or to the next palace. So per information from here, then now it's going back to uh, where it started at. I think it started somewhere in Alatakukobo, somewhere around, uh, somewhere in Winneba. So now we are also taking it back to the place. So let's see how it goes. At this point, I knew if I kept following, we would end up getting left behind or even locking in the crowd. So we found a way out and drove for the next big festival in the town, which is the Lemon Thursday. So now we're going to the next festival, uh, which is Lemon Thursday. Lemon Thursday. I haven't been there yet, but uh, the information that I have uh, is supposed to be a group of people who are supposed to put on, I think. That is lemon green. green. That is a yellow lemon green attire. Now, one particular thing that makes this township special, aside its festivals and more, is its road network. You know, like the roads are a lot, you can easily get to your destination in time. If, even one side has been blocked, you can use another way to pass through. Right now, where we are passing through, when we use that main uh, Winneba Highway, uh, Winneba Road, in fact, Winneba has just one traffic like that, one over there. So, that particular uh, road is uh, now blocked. It's not really blocked, but there's a huge traffic on that road. But because of its road network, we are also on another path and it's just moving smoothly. You can see cars coming in and out and then uh, we also get into our destination. And it's not just this particular road. There's also other roads in the town that can also get to uh, your destination. So one thing about Winneba is just like, there's no particular road that leads to a single destination. You have multiple roads that will get you to your destination and more. The Lemon Thursday being my favorite for the first time is a group of people in Winneba dressed in lemon green and following a huge convoy playing music while dancing to the tunes and marching all the way to the St. Charles Beach Resort. Despite the heavy traffic, it took us four hours on this Lemon Thursday ride. The police were there to ensure safety, bringing people in and out of the town together on this walk. For myself and my team, we were granted VVIP access in one of the leading convoys, saving me the walk of a lifetime. We were also led by the Ghana police convoy and took some short videos for my Instagram. We completed the trip at the beach but my battery didn't last and we will call it a day. I knew I had a great day and I just couldn't wait for the rest of the day since tomorrow was gonna be a big day. See you in my next video. Bye.